we became interested in ice storms around 2008, 2009, and I was actually on the road seeing all the cars sliding off the road and seeing the devastation to the forest. And I looked at that and I thought, oh my goodness, I mean, this is something we really need to know more about. And then we said, well, we both work in one of the most famous uh, outdoor laboratories in the world. So instead of going to ice storms or waiting for an ice storm to come to us, we decided we would make ice storms. So we have two of these pumping vehicles going up and down the length of our uh, basketball size courts and they're spraying in arcs kind of at each other, but it, it's perfectly uh, choreographed. And, and I like to think there is an art to sculpting forests. And so we just slowly build up layers and layers of ice. The cool thing is that trees are big, strong, long-lived um, organisms that have to endure all kinds of stresses. They can't run away. Um, they may be alive for hundreds and hundreds of years. So if something bad comes, they should be able to rebound. So we want to understand that ability of trees to rebound from things, even some things that look somewhat devastating. But we also know that that ability to rebound is not you know, infinite. So these storms are really a big deal in, in the Northeast. The folks who need to deal with public safety or who need to deal with parks and recreation or, or any of that need to know how to be more prepared for an ice storm.